Alright, we're gonna be playing through some XCOM 2 here. I don't quite feel comfortable doing Legend. I think uh, we'll have a lot of problems with that. We're gonna go Commander and run through it and just see how well we do here. Uh, maybe we'll go up to Legend later on. I'm not gonna worry about this tutorial. We've done this before. Reduce beginner voiceover, that's fine. Subtitles, that's fine. Definitely want Iron Man. The Iron Man just makes it so that you can't go back and abuse saving and loading your game. City centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. Take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take down a public target. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. All right. We're going to sabotage an Advent monument here. Neutralize all enemy forces. Plant X4 on the monument. Looks like we got Chinbeard Man. I don't. This is really confusing me. I'm not. I'm not sure what to make of that. <laughs> it's like mustache, ponytail. I. I don't know. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated oh. position. All right. So we knew we saw two troopers here. I think they were both troopers. So we got Neil Cox. That's the guy with the funky hairdo. Ursula Hahn, Elizabeth Thomas, and Arthur Olson. All right. Well. 
Arthur Olson. What Moving can to position. we see? These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. Three they're troopers. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Four health apiece. I believe. Can we still do the. There used to be. Oh, yeah, right here. It is doing it. Okay. So, 85% to hit all these guys here. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to. Because once we open fire, they're going to scatter. <clears throat> so, we want to kind of get several people in position here. So can we move a little farther forward? I'd like to get this direction more. Because I'd like to keep some high ground here. That's a little far to go. Um, this is pretty flank right here. Move to position. Go for it. I'm worried about getting shots from this direction. Okay, we're gonna have you push it just a little bit. Since this is all half cover up here, I don't think there's any full cover. Okay, we're gonna have you push it up and get over here. Ursula Han. And we're going to have Elizabeth Thomas move up. Probably a little more than she should as well. Especially in these higher difficulties, it's pretty greedy to dash somewhere. Because um, you don't know, like, I could have revealed more aliens here. Uh, and then they have no actions left because they dashed. So, it's, it's pretty greedy, especially for starting out here. Uh, to be dashing around uh, instead of being slow and cautious. Especially because we're not on like a time limit or anything for turns. Uh, we're going to go ahead. So we can put them into overwatch and fire on the first enemy that moves within your line of sight. But only if revealed. So what this means is right now we have concealment. You can see these little assassin heads next to our guys. Or whatever you want to call them. This just means that we're concealed, no enemies know we're here yet. So we're not going to open fire even if we're on Overwatch, unless we're spotted by enemies. Once that happens, it's all bets off. Roger, I've got my eyes on watch. But they'll Overwatch in case we're spotted. I don't think we will be. We should be sitting just fine. Some civilians hanging out down here as well. <clears throat> you can probably see from this here, these towers scan the ground, so they'll notice us as well if we walk through that area. Not so much worried about those, though. Those are easily avoidable. Uh, we do not have the best plan of attack here, do we? I think this is a pretty good, good cover Moving spot to go to. Now, there could be people in here that see us do that, so that's dangerous as well there. Yes. Menace one five. You're near the target position. Yes, we have visual on the target site. Okay, so you're gonna go there. Let's see, don't want to go here because they have plenty of room to move here, maybe even to here, and then that would not be cover. Before we do that, let's see where we can move over here for cover. I mean, I'd like to stay up top. But I also want to get a little closer. So I have a little bit better shots coming in as well. I think we'll move you. Uh, this is the edge of the map, so there shouldn't be any enemies right here. They'd be in front. <coughs> so you can move down here. Should be fine. You. How much damage does it deal? Three, two, four. So there's no way to know. And I don't want to completely obliterate these guys. So 
so we don't want to do the grenade. Well, you're probably a little far away. 85, 85, 85. You got 86s. You got 67s from where you're sitting. We're gonna, we're gonna open fire from here, I think. The question is, do we do we put people in Overwatch so they get free shots when they scatter? That's the question. So if we go Overwatch, <clears throat> now in the second game, Overwatch still confers a Overwatch. penalty to your shots, I believe. I know in the first one it definitely did. It's not saying so here in the tooltips, but I want to say it still does the Got same thing right here. Okay, and we're only going to overwatch the two, I think. Yeah, because I want, I want some options open if I need to react harshly. Uh... I think we're gonna go for the middle son of a gun right there. Direct hit. Kill confirmed. Overkilled by one damage. Okay, this one immediately hooks us down in cover. He's not gonna move. This guy should move. Oh, they're both moving actually. Okay. okay we've got a miss on the right and a miss on the left. Come on, focus! All right, but Elizabeth Thomas still has her go here. So, got a 72 from here. That's actually not half bad. I'm <clears throat> curious what it would be from down here, though. We'd lose the height bonus. Um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and fire again. There we go. Hostile neutralized. Promotion earned. How's he gonna react here? Trying to pull back. He's gonna fall back. That makes sense. <clears throat> He's not overwatched though. We're kind of in a good position to deal with that as well. Gonna move up to full cover. Keep an eye out. Could have stuff coming from there. Only a 52. We're not going to have her fire yet. We're going to wait and see what we've got showing up. Mm. Honestly, I'm going to put you down here in heavy cover. Should, in theory, still have a line of sight to this guy. 45. It's a pretty bad shot, but <clears throat> may end up having to use it. I really apologize, my throat's not doing the best today. Some cities hunkered down here. Um, yeah, let's let's run and look this way. I'm. I'm fairly unworried about this side because we can see to here and we know the edge of the map is right here so they'd be pretty far off and over here we don't really know so this is more scary side it's the first mission so regardless of difficulty we shouldn't have <coughs> excuse me we shouldn't have a huge number of any uh, aliens we're dealing with or anything here I think like nine might be the most we have to deal with on the first mission. Uh, we got 46. Go ahead and go ahead and try that. Got him. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, I didn't expect a 46% to do anything there, but okay, that works. 
go ahead since it's clear let's just move up will do get a lot closer there we go this is a captain I believe the advent officers seem more capable than the grunts you might just straight up call sure whether they it up to training or stricter mind control so we got seven hit points on the officers and he's supported by two more troopers here all right, so we have one action from you, one action from you. We gotta blow this monument up anyway. Can we get a grenade on this guy? Soften him up. I don't know if it's gonna affect his cover at all, really. That looks like pretty hardened cover. But we're gonna grenade this. And at the very least, deal three points of guaranteed damage. There we go. You do not even have line of sight, but you can't really move again from there. We're going to have you overwatch because I don't want to risk moving, really. Oh, and officer tries to move and get shot. That was probably the, the best outcome we could have hoped for right there. That was actually really good. Put him in a bad spot. Arthur Olsen. Thankfully you have not died yet, but you might be our first casualty. Alright. So, Ursula Han's in a good position. Doesn't have the best shots, but she's got heavy cover here. I think it makes sense to shoot this direction. I think we've got a promotion on everyone now. I think we should have promotions all around. Uh, he is on Overwatch. Got him. Target down. Okay, there was area is secure. We're not picking up any five troopers, contacts. one officer so Scanners far. Clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Now uh, that's neutralize all enemy targets. So we may, in fact, not have anything else to worry about. Got it. Moving. I do need to grab this though. Go ahead. I'm all over it. Move people up. Now, once we blow these charges, we may have more enemies show up. I'm not positive on that. Stepping off. We do have the objective completed neutralize all enemy targets, but oh, it's a scope. Beautiful. Tech guys will love this. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and plant some X4. Because XCOM, not CCOM. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Okay, there we go. Charge. He nailed it. There's only six targets. Well, that went pretty smooth. We got one guy about got himself murdered there, but yeah, we didn't miss. Well, this isn't correct. We missed two Overwatch shots. Yeah, half cover pretty much. I think Arthur Olsen is actually the guy that got himself hurt too. The Sky Ranger looks so gross compared to the first XCOM. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive work. All right, promotions all the way around. I know this guy's not feeling good, but the Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range.
Alright, alright. Slash attack and enemy within movement range with your sword. I believe, if I remember correctly, this allows them to actually dash forward and still attack. Which is pretty useful. A lot of great abilities in here. Will is at 51. That seems really low. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Bonus to defense to start the next player turn. Will 47. Ah, oh, why is their will so low? I feel like that is just really really low just like it sounds our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range they're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter okay always good to have a sniper Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. It's really helpful because now we can launch grenades a lot farther. That helps out a lot, actually. Alright. Uh, you guys got two kills apiece, that's nice. I think this means they leveled up so now they're at five hit points. But he got wounded, so he was only down to one. So the scope increases aim by 5%. Isn't amazing, but it's something. Commander to the research lab. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I think we're gonna call this good for part one. And then part two, we're going to start out here going over the ship we're in, uh, all the different rooms, what we can do from right here. From what I've heard, the resistance has already but seen a boost now, in the recruitment efforts after word of the commander's arrival oh, got look, around. It's so pretty out here. They've needed a yeah. leader just as but much we'll call as this good have. for now. And now they'll be expecting and us to hit the aliens where it hurts. Part two. Not that I'm worried.